All right, so today we're gonna make ceramic fish. These are some examples of ceramic fish from previous semesters. You can see they're all different colors, all different shapes. You can create your design and make it unique. Um, your fish is gonna have a base like this so it stands up. Obviously, we're looking from the top at this angle. And it should also have a fin that sticks out. So like this one here has a fin that sticks out right here. Um, this was one of my earlier models and it doesn't have a fin that sticks out. It should have a fin that sticks out. You can also change the shape though. So you can kind of see how this one is kind of a little bit rounded. Um, it's twisted back in the front and the back. And I'll show you how to do that as we're working on these today. So let me move these out of the way. And then the first thing you want to do when you start is create a design. So you want to have your design all figured out before you start. So here's my design. I modified and changed a couple things around from previous models that I did to make it a little bit unique. All right, so whenever you start with clay, what's the first thing you want to do? Starts with a W. Wedge your clay, good. Yeah, you guys will need a few reminders, huh? All right, so I'm gonna wedge my clay, and if you remember, you're just basically squishing it on the canvas, kind of rolling it as you go. And what you don't wanna do is flatten it out like a pancake. You wanna take the edge that's kind of like the longest, like this direction is the longest, and kind of squish it in and roll it under your hand as you're going through. This is a small piece, and it's pretty easy to wedge. We're gonna use recycled clay for this, so it's clay that's been used before. And this project calls for a half a pound of clay you'll end up using about three-fifths of that. So the rest of it will go where when you're done? In the recycle bin, very good. All right, so my clay's wedged up. I pre-wedged this a little bit before I started, so it's ready to go. Um, the next thing you wanna do is flatten it out kind of like a fat hamburger. Just take your hand and begin flattening it out. Okay, so there's my fat hamburger patty. Okay, so now we're gonna roll out the clay. We're gonna use two strips that will make sure that our clay doesn't get too skinny. I'm gonna turn this at an angle so it fits here on the cart. All right, so we start in the middle and roll up and down and then flip your clay every couple of rolls. Remember, it's a lot easier to roll this out when you're standing up. You can use your body weight rather than trying to use just arms. I think that's just about right. Okay, so the clay's all rolled out. It's ready to make my fish. Pass the roller and the strips to the next person so they can get theirs rolled out as well. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay my fish on my clay. Look, it fits just perfectly. And you're going to take a paper clip or some type of tool and cut it out. An easier thing to do is before you just start cutting is to draw around your fish and you can use a pencil or you can use one of the stylus in the cup. If you use a pencil, just keep in mind it's gonna get clay all over it. So save that one just for clay. So just go around your fish all the way around. Oh, somebody mind getting the door for Matthew? Oh, somebody else. Okay, so I've got all the way around it. Just gonna lift that off and there's my design. So now take your paper clip and cut your fish out. So I'm gonna spin this around. It's a little bit easier for me to go this direction. So what you're gonna do is just take your paper clip and pull it through the clay. And your pieces will come off like that. Now we're gonna need a base, so save something for your base. If you forget to save something or you don't have a good piece, you can re-roll it if you need.
All right, so my fish is all cut out. And I'm ready to do a few things to it. First thing I want to do is smooth out the edges. All these little edges on here become very sharp later on after the clay is fired. So don't do this on your canvas because it'll just make it wet, but on the edge of your table, like right up here, you can just put a little squirt of water, something about the size of a quarter, and then dip your finger in that water and then you can smooth out all the edges of your clay and make it look real nice. And this is a really important step. You want to do this now, and then before you turn it in, you want to go back over and kind of check everything and go back over it. Okay, so it's looking pretty decent at this point. I'm going to flip it over and look at the other side. The other side looks fine. I'm going to smooth all that out as well. Make it all look real nice. Okay, and this is going to be my back. So right now, before I forget, I'm going to put my initials and period number on the back. So my initials are D, C, G and my period number is period one. Okay. Also, this is going to be something that's kind of rough, so I usually will take and smooth this out a little bit and I'll go back over it. It's very important I can read your initials. I'm going to have a lot of fish come out of the kiln and if I can't see your initials and period number, actually the period number is the most important thing, I won't know which period to send it to and so it kind of sits in the back for a while. So I usually carve it and smooth it and carve it and smooth it until it looks just about right. So you can see that clearly. I'm going to flip it back over to the front. Now there's a few things I want to do. Okay, if I look at my design here, get all this extra junk out of the way, I want to create some designs in it. So I need a little piece for an eyeball, I need a piece for a fin, and I need a piece for a base. So I think this here will work for my base. I'm going to go ahead and just cut out that. This wouldn't work would good for a base, this one right here. Why wouldn't this work good for a base? Too thin, yeah. I'd put my fish on here and if something came along it'd easily fall over, which is not what you want. So this one here is just wide enough. Kind of like that shape right there. It's a little free form. And then for my fin, I'm going to use this one. And so you're just cutting out the shape that you want it to be with your paper clip. That looks about right. Okay. And the last thing I need is an eyeball. And I drew a pretty good size. Actually, I didn't draw it as big as I want. I'm going to put a pretty good size eyeball on this guy. So here's a nice piece of clay for my eyeball right there. Okay. The rest of this will all go in the recycle bucket stick it aside right now. So I'm going to create some designs on my fish. So on your table there is a cup of tools and you can use whichever tools you want. I'm going to use the stylus which is this wooden stick. You can also use the same pencil you use to draw in your clay for this step if you want. But I'm going to take the stylus and I'm going to carve designs into it. What happens if I push too far into my clay on my fish? I will cut all the way through and the pieces will come off. So just, just carve in the surface. It's like you're drawing with a little bit of extra pressure. I usually always have one or two students that cuts pieces off and then they're trying to put them back together and it doesn't work as well. Actually, I think I'll zoom in. There we go. Okay. So there's my fin at the top. I've got a fin over here. And this one has a double fin in the back. And let's see, looking at my original design, I wanted to do a circle around his eye right here. I'm going to start with the, his eye is going to go right here. Actually, I think I'll put his eye on right now just so you can kind of see how that works. When you attach something, you need to do two things. What are they? Score and slip. Okay, everybody say score and slip. Say it again. All right, score and slip. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this eyeball first. So I'm just going to you know roll it in my fingers, make it a little bit more smooth. It's kind of rough right now. Oops, can't see that. There we go. I'm just rolling it into kind of a marble shape. And then I'm going to flatten it out on the back where I attach it right there. Okay. And so I'm going to score it, which means scratching up the surface. I'm going to attach it right there so I scratch up that surface. And then the slip is just gooey clay, clay that's real wet. I right, put some slip on there. And then if I stick it on there and like that and walk away, it's probably going to fall off once it dries. So I want to really work it into place. Notice the slip is kind of oozing out from the edges. And I'm just going to kind of work it back and forth with my fingers, really working it into place well. Boy, that's a big eye. Because that's what I wanted. All right, I'm going to get the extra slip off of here with the tool that I have. Okay, so his eye is attached pretty well now. I'm also going to put a little... Uh, indent in the middle. So just take my stylist and push it in like that. Go a little bit further here. And I'm going to make the indent a little bit bigger than the end of the stylus by going over it a few times like that. Okay. So my design, what I did is I kind of came around the eye like this. And then this line curves around like that. And then I continued that pattern all the way down the fish. Okay. So can you see these little chunks along here? Right now they are soft. When it's fired, they'll get real hard. So if I can, I'm going to clean them off now. If not, I'll, I'll smooth them out and clean them up later kind of brush off like that. And I'll probably go back over the lines in a little bit. So that's all good there. Um, I was going to do a line here, kind of flowing through here, but I think I like it like this. I'm not going to add that line now that I look at it. Okay. And I think I'll put a little dot on the end of his nose for his nostril. And I'm going to open his mouth up a little bit more than this. So you got to be real gentle when you open up something or when you change the shape of your clay, just do it real gently, kind of compact it together. As you're doing it, you don't want it to tear or crack, okay? And its tail, we're going to pull these apart later on. All right, so I think my designs are all done. I'm going to go through and I'm going to go back over these a little bit. If you wet your stylist as you pull it through the clay, sometimes it'll go through a little bit smoother. Or whatever tool you're using, it doesn't have to be the stylist. Can you see the lines better now? There was silence. I can see the lines better from here. I'm not sure how it looks on the screen. Okay, what's left? What do I need to do still? Yes. Hmm? The fin, yeah, the fin. I almost forgot. I was thinking about the next step. You're right, the fin's next. So what I'm going to do is take my fin. I guess I need to back up a little bit so you can see again the whole thing. I'm going to take my fin before I attach it, and I'm going to put design on it. It's already all smoothed out, so it's in good shape there. So I'm going to use my stylist and create some lines that match the top of the fin. And smooth out the back now that I did that. Okay, one more thing. On this edge where it's going to attach right here, it's kind of thick. So I'm going to take my paper clip and I'm going to cut this down at an angle so it'll attach well. Okay, so now to attach it, I score and slip. So score that edge. And attach it right here, score right there, and add some slip. Nope. I scored the wrong angle. It goes like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth this back out. And I'm going to reevaluate how that goes. It's going to go like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score right along here. And then I'm going to attach that. Once again, you really need to attach it well. That's a little bit hard to see. 
but I'm just working it into the piece. I'm kind of moving it back and forth, pushing down at the same time. I'm going to mess up my lines a little bit, but those can be fixed. Okay. So I'm going to support the piece from the back and kind of go back over or go back over my lines. Okay. So that's all done. I'm ready to smooth it one last time. So take your time, go around the edge, smooth it out. Okay, now I'm gonna attach it to my base. And as I look at my base, my base really is, is not what I want it to be. So what can I do? I don't like this base, what do I do? Roll another base, yeah. And I can't pause this, so I'm gonna just do it really quick off to the side. Actually, I can do it right here. Now be careful with your fish. Don't squish your fish if you re-roll clay with the roller. You will not be happy. Okay. So I'm going to take my paper clip and cut out a new base. that base much better okay so take your water smooth out the edges make it look real nice and now you're going to attach how do I attach it what do I do score and slip you got it so I'm going to put this one right along this point right here I'm going to score the bottom of my fish And I'm going to add some slip on there. And then work it into place. Let me back it up here so you can see the whole thing. Now this is the point which most people attach the most poorly. This is the most important thing to attach well. Every day that I have students make fish, I will pick up one or two and they fall, the base just falls right off of them because they're not attached well, really work that in. Now I'm gonna change the shape. So I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna make the front part come forward. That's its nose up there. And then its tail, I'm gonna have one tail go back and one part of the bottom part of the tail go outward just to make them a little more interesting. So let me turn it from the side. So there's my finished fish. Once you're all done, bring them up on the shelf and put them up there to let them dry.